Now, I don't want to say this is a Steve Eiserman move. It's not really, but it kind of is. I don't know. You can be the judge of that. Today, we're talking about a new prospect that has officially entered the Detroit Red Wings system. Take a look at this. The Grand Rapids Griffins have signed forward Hunter Johannes to an amateur tryout for the remainder of the 23-24 season and to a standard player's contract for the 24-25 season. So, new guy... Hunter Johannes is in Grand Rapids. What is the scoop here? Well, we do have some replies going out there saying, hey, I like this. This dude was an absolute menace in the Michigan game. Now, who exactly is Hunter Johannes? Well, we have ourselves a profile here to go over. Because this is a guy that if you wanted to get super excited about, if you wanted to say, oh, he's got a boatload of NHL potential... I don't necessarily know if that's the case here, considering the fact that Johannes is 25 years old. He is quite literally the same age as Alex Dabrinkat, and he was playing in the NCAA for the Nodak Fighting Hawks. He's 6'3", 209, left-handed guy, forward, born in 1998, July 24th, and this season playing for Nodak, he had 19 points in 31 games played. Now, interestingly enough, Johannes has had a very different kind of development path comparative to most guys, especially in his own age range. July 1998 is the birth date, so he was initially eligible for the 2016 NHL draft. And back in 2016, he is playing for the USHS High School League in Minnesota Hockey. Eden Prairie High, actually, I'm pretty sure they've had a few NHL players come and go through their system, but Johannes was not drafted out of that system. He spent the next few years still rotating around the Minnesota high school scene. Then he played for three USHL teams as a double overager and eventually made the NAHL, which is a little bit of a lateral step in the American hockey scene. From there, he had spent five seasons playing in the NCAA with American International College. He had three years over there. Didn't really produce too many points. I mean, he maxed out at five points in 14 games played. Then he went to Lindenwood last year, had 29 points in 28 games played, and then found himself in NODAC with the 19 points in 31 games this year. He has had a very strange development path. This is not the normal progression that you would see out of most NHL or AHL even prospects because spending an extended amount of time in the high school leagues before going to the USHL and spending a season in the NAHL before going through four different years of NCAA hockey that is not a part of the Big Ten or anything, this is a very interesting development path. And the fact is, it's rewarded this guy because now he is an AHL professional hockey player, but it took him a long time to get here. I mean, even if you take a look at some of these teams, American International College in the NCAA, they play in the Atlantic Hockey Division, and you don't normally see too many NHL guys come out of this system. You're normally seeing your guys coming out of the Big Ten, the CCHA, the ECAC, or Hockey East, even the Lindenwood team. This is an independent NCAA organization, so very different development path. It's very unique, and if you go over to the Grand Rapids Griffins, I wanted to show here that this isn't necessarily a Red Wings move. It's a Grand Rapids Griffins move, because the Griffins have signed Hunter Johannes to an amateur tryout for the remainder of the season and a standard player's contract for 24-25. This means that Johansson will play in the Griffins for now as a free player, technically. It's an amateur tryout. But his actual contract, where he'll get paid, most likely in the $100,000, if not a little bit lower than that range, it's going to start in 2425. The article goes over a few of the same things that we had talked about, but in order to get a bigger scoop as to what Johannes is, I wanted to go over to this article published on the Grand Forks Herald website. Hunter Johannes heading to the Red Wings organization, the fifth-year senior, has signed a deal with the AHL's Griffins. The 6'3", 217-pound winger played a key role for UND during the 23-24 season, scoring 19 points in 31 games. He scored goals in each of his last three games against Miami in the NCHC quarterfinals, against Omaha in the NCHC semifinals, and against Michigan in the NCAA tournament. 
Johannes came to UND after stints at American International and Lindenwood. The former Eden Prairie High School forward spent three seasons at AIC where he totaled 29 games played and 9 points. He transferred to Lindenwood for his senior season and had a breakout year racking up a point per game season. He scored goals against UND at Ralph Engstead Arena, Denver at Magnus Arena, Minnesota at Marucci Arena, and Michigan at Yost Arena. After UND lost Judd Caulfield to the Anaheim Ducks, the Fighting Hawks recruited Johannes to fill his spot as a big power winger. He committed to UND for his fifth and final season of NCAA eligibility. He scored UND's first goal of the season against Army and was a threat all year on the wing with a heavy wrist shot. He also added physical presence up front. He is the second UND player to agree to terms with a pro team since the season ended. So, Pretty interesting report here, power forward like guy, he provided some intangibles and he scored some pretty clutch goals. In fact, I did some digging and I wanted to see where exactly people have talked about this guy in the past and I found this article published all the way back in 2017, presumably by Steve Koreanis on the Draft Analyst. This is thedraftanalyst.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Yeah, it was written by Steve Koreanis. There you go. So this was May 28th, 2017, so literally seven years ago. If you scroll through this Steve Coriolis mock draft and you go over to the 192nd overall pick, this is where Coriolis lists Hunter Johannes as a potential draftee. Now, look, just for disclosure, Johannes was not drafted, and quite frankly, he wasn't even ranked anywhere by any of the main outlets. But Steve Coriolis had him in the 192 spot. Here's what he had to say. Expected to be one of the top power forwards in high school hockey, Johannes played an important role in Eden Prairie's success by driving their second line in support of Casey Middlestad's top unit. A tough out of the mold of John LeClaire or a Milan Lucic, Johannes had his way with high school opponents by wearing them down while maintaining control of the puck. He teamed with Middlestad on the power play, but they were mostly split up at even strength. Johannes proved he could control play in his own and did not require his center to make things happen. He's an average skater but rather quick to the net via direct routes. Johannes is isn't just a one-way forward. He kills penalties and can be trusted late in games because of how easy it is for him to separate opponents from the puck. He has an excellent wrist shot that he fires through traffic, but he passes up far too many prime opportunities for a lower percentage play. If he was a solid playmaker, this would be fine, but simplifying his game just to shooting and scoring goals would make him all the more dangerous. So there you go. Did the Red Wings just sign themselves the next John LeClaire or Milan Lucic? Okay, probably not, and it's not even the Red Wings that did it. He's technically a part of the Wings organization, but just in an AHL capacity. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Grand Rapids Griffins signing Hunter Johannes to an ATO to end off this season and a regular contract to begin next season. If you're a fan of the North Dakota Fighting Hawks, then what are your thoughts on this guy? How did you like him this season? He's a pretty old player at 25, so I don't want to say there's any guaranteed NHL potential here, but if he's able to show off some all right things, if he's able to come over, just be capable, get some points, then that I think is at the very least what you could expect out of this guy. At the end of the day, you know, it's good to see people getting jobs for playing hockey, especially after working so long as a student for the past half decade. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Griffins acquiring Hunter Johannes. I hope you enjoyed this Vidishrash Rolls 99, and bye.